Well, tonight, Mobile Wave Transit workers claim management retaliated against them. Their union says after decades of letting them use a wave bus in the Labor Day parade, this year they got the cold shoulder. NBC 15's Andrew Ramey joins us now. Andrew, the workers believe that's because they filed complaints with the National Labor Board. That's right, Kim. They say speaking out is creating a toxic work environment, and they say what happened yesterday at the parade was punishment. Bands marched, parade goers caught throws, but one thing that was different at this year's Labor Day parade? This year we didn't get a bus. Angela Wood says in her 32 years with WAVE, they've always been given things to throw to the crowd and a WAVE bus to ride on to promote the transit system. This year, the union says it had to shell out 400 bucks for this rented bus. It made me feel like I'm not appreciated. This email from a WAVE manager to the transit union's president, Anthony Maven, says the buses are not allowed in parades and funerals. But Maven believes the change in policy is because the union filed complaints with the National Labor Relations Board about work conditions during the pandemic and other issues. According to a May settlement agreement issued by the National Labor Board, WAVE had to write apologies to two workers and issue back pay to others. The general manager is upset about these charges and this is his way of retaliating towards the uh, employees and the members of the uh, union. Maven says the growing animosity between union and management is causing people to quit. This is a very serious thing. We have a real bad uh, turnover at the transit system. We cannot keep employees there. A wave did not respond to our request for comment just moments ago. A city spokesperson uh, did respond back with a statement that says in part, quote, we don't have any input on waves day to day operations or decisions about the use of its equipment. We hope that management and employees can come to an amicable agreement on how best to recognize Labor Day and other events in the future. Reporting live in Mobile Tide, Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News.